Dude, you get a couple fish up on me and you just... <laughs> you know, yeah, that's the way it goes. <laughs> you know, he brings me down here with all these dinks on and doesn't have a spinning rod. I'll take that wood. I don't believe in luck. To me, luck is opportunity and preparation. And if I was to shut down on a point and drop my trolling motor and a five pounder blows up and I throw over and catch it, was that luck? Or was that my preparation created that opportunity? How cool was that? This is my office. And I'm no different than a doctor or a lawyer. This is where I do my business from this platform. Gary Klein is legendary in bass fishing. Right down the list, 30 Bassmaster Classics, two Angler of the Year titles, the first angler to win back-to-back -back FLW tournaments, Major League Fishing, the US Open, the wins. It's very impressive, and he has a resume that every bass fisherman in the game would love to have. Gary looks at the world a lot different than just run-of-the-mill people. He's like a gunfighter of the West, steely-eyed, He'll listen to you, but he knows what his role is, and he is a professional bass fisherman. As a sophomore in high school, I was actually introduced to the first competitive bass fishing tournament that I'd ever heard of, and I knew then that I was hooked. That's a keeper. First day I met Gary was at Oroville on the last day of the tournament up there. D. Thomas won the event. And I, being kind of young and bold, I walked up to Dean and introduced myself to him and said, hey, my name's Gary Klein, and one of these days I'm gonna be better than you. When somebody comes up to you and you're 35 years old and they want a piece of you and they're 15 years old. <laughs> <laughs> Get in line, son. A lot of guys want to beat me. And he basically took me under his wing and raised me. And Dee and I have been real close ever since. You sandbagging me back there, huh? Give me that spinner. I'll fix that. I got it. I could see what Gary wanted to do with his life. He was young. And I said, I'm going to give you the best advice you're ever going to get the rest of your life. Well, it's nice to see you actually landed there. Yeah, wow, well, I put him in the boat, huh? I said, you need to leave the West now. Go back and fish the big time. And you can compete with those guys. From D. Thomas, I learned how to be a competitor. And from Rich Forehand, I was taught how to follow my dream. Without these two gentlemen, anglers, friends of mine, I would have never pursued the passion that I have for fishing. Now I'm doing the same thing for other anglers. And the Texas Bass Brigade Summer Camp is my way of giving back. The Texas Bass Brigade Summer Camp. This is a five-day crash course camp. I'm here as a professional angler trying to show the business side of competitive angling and to help the cadets with their fishing skills. The enthusiasm, the interest, I am actually one of them. I really like this camp. Though it is a bit rigorous and a bit hardcore, it's a lot of fun and it really teaches you a lot of things. What these instructors have done for us has certainly changed the lives, not only me, but hundreds of other cadets. And our careers and our daily lives will not be the same without them. Gary's 100% about the vision. And the vision is very grand, and the vision that he has is gonna be something that lasts a long, long time. It has an impact on our sport and how we take care of fish. I've been taught that wealth is a frame of mind. In fact, today, I personally know a lot of very wealthy individuals that are miserable. And what do they do? They call me up and say, hey, Gary, how's the fishing? If there's one thing Gary has done for fishing, it's shown the industry what can be achieved when you follow your dream? Because passion leads to a life well lived. I feel very fortunate, very humbled that I've been able to do this my entire life. I bought my first bass boat when I was 16. I was working a summer job at Bidwell Canyon Marine and I was making $1.65 an hour. I owed everybody money. And to get from there to here, pretty special. That's one to nothing. 
D, you know that's an unfair advantage. Why is that? That's because you caught one. I haven't. <laughs>